thrifting doesn't always have to be serious. Sometimes thrifting can just be fun, and that is what I am going to experience today. Welcome to Paper and Moose. I am on my way to visit one of my, well, my best friend from college, Melissa, out in the King of Prussia, Pennsylvania area. She asked me if I'd like to go to a thrift store, and I told her, do you really need to ask? <laughs> so we are going to venture to a new-to-me thrift store and then check out an Asian market that is nearby. So if you want just a fun video, a fun thrifting adventure, then stay tuned. Not we have $3.99. Jesus. He's a little broken though. She's nice. $5.99. What if we have him kissing again? <laughs> oh, here's part of a nativity. No praise. So I've never been to the thrift store and it's like massive. It's called Second Avenue. It's, I have no idea. It's like out past Karen Prussia. Graceland. It feels heavy. Yeah, yeah take the band. <laughs> I was going to say, take the band aids off. Look at my eyes. Jeez. If I had known you needed one, I could have brought some of the ones I found. Oh, it's on you. That's cute. Yeah. It's actually very really nice. They're cute. Aww. No, yeah, is Joseph in there? Oh, oh. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Where's Joe? <laughs> I think Joe's missing. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, you know. Joe went home. Oh no, that's no, that's a shepherd. No Joe. Here's more parts of Ooh, jeez, Louise Renee. They're $3.99. $3.99 each. And I think I found I found bags for five bucks. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. Again, you know? His eyes. He's he's a little surprised. Oh, that's kind of sad. Look at his eyes. <laughs> $3.99, I don't know. Oh, bless you. Jeez, this is dangerous. <laughs> They're everywhere. It's like a treasure hunt. Oh, yeah. He belongs to this. This is from Avon, and he's supposed to have a broom. So when you move the broom, he lights up. This is crazy. Imagine if this was your job to bag everything. There's a lot. Some of these are good prices. Yeah, but others. Some stuff. Do they bag the stuff up like that, like this, or? Yeah, for like the little toys. Uh huh. Then you don't hang it like this, but you'll no, see. no. I mean, my very first consignment sale I ever went to, I got a bag full of toys, like baby toys, you know, like rattles yeah. and teethers and stuff, for like I don't know, three bucks. Oh, that's and a good deal. Big, you know, Ziploc. Music became a little loud, so voiceover time. I picked up this bag of toys. I think you can probably figure out why. If you can see that guy right there. The clothing, you would need an hour or more, probably more than that, to look through the clothes. I did find the shirt. Perhaps some of you will recognize this little guy, not the mama, from the dinosaur show. I figured, uh, why not? Um, it's not vintage vintage, but no, it is. Maybe. We'll have to find out. <laughs> Fruit of the Loom tag. So we are at the Asian market and this is, and this is wonderful. Of course I go right to baked goods. Choco pie. Oh my gosh, a green tea one. What in the world? Banana. Kush kush. Is this make bubble tea? Yes, yes. So I got I got this 
and I got oh. that. I haven't, oh. I haven't made it yet, though. I might have to get that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's any good, but I wonder what kind they use. I got this kind. Yeah, I just have to. That's rehydrate. probably what they use at at the. Yeah. A lot of the places make it fresh, but this is, I think, dehydrated or something. I don't really know. That's a lot of carbs. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try that. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> After all this time. All right, I'll follow wherever you want to go. Okay. Not like I need any any more baked goods. Lemon puff banana. I'm not too big on like banana flavor stuff like that. Whipped. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Mr. High Fiber. Second Avenue thrift shop. I wish they were in my area. I think this location was in North Wales, uh, Pennsylvania. So a little bit of a drive from King of Prussia, but definitely worth the drive. I mean, that place is huge. And I, I didn't even capture, uh, <laughs> I probably only showed you a quarter of things. I mean, they had on both walls, the bags of stuff, clo clothing rack after clothing rack. The wall of electronics was insane. The wall of purses was crazy, just a lot. You know, the, the workers there, they must just go through inventory every single day. They must have a lot of donations coming in and out. And those that bag up all those little baggies of stuff, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. Now I'm sure because every thrift store has the people that, there are some people that go to the same thrift store every day because they're either sourcing for themselves or they're sourcing uh, to resell and so they kind of know the layout they know when people restock and they you know they get the the gist of things so i'm assuming that this store has it i didn't has them as well i didn't find any grails um, it was more so just fun to hang out with my friend catch up as we're looking at the clothes and just see what the store has to offer would i go back yes definitely i would go to the thrift store then I would go back to the Asian market and probably go in every single aisle I had to cut that short because I was so excited <laughs> and the camera angles and the movement of the camera was not conducive when I was editing I was getting seasick but oh my gosh the packaging on some of those products the cuteness and just the the mystery of what was at this market I would go back again so I'd go to the thrift store the Asian market and then there's a great bubble tea place nearby too so Melissa we have to go back <laughs> what did I get just a few things from the random grab bags I why why do I buy things I bought some carrots <laughs> these are $3.99 uh, they're marked Japan oh no they're marked Italy Italian carrots I thought these would be fun to use in Easter decorating. You know, you have a little basket, put the carrots in. I had to buy something. Now, each, I'm assuming each day, they have different tags that are for sale or on sale and they're half off. So that's nice. Bought those. The other grab bag of miscellaneous animals I purchased, these were $2.99. And I bought this bag for one reason and one reason only. And that was for this guy. He's just rubber. Um, he's older. I have other deer like him, but mine don't have the red nose. So we have little, little Rudolph. What else was in this bag? We have a giraffe. This is a bag, bag of animals. We have a giraffe. Tarzan. Oh, my stomach is roaring. This is from a... Uh, Green Briar International. Is this one that you put in water and it grows? You have a horse, of course. A little fish. 96. And then this little squirrely guy. He can go out at uh, fall. But those bags, you could spend an hour probably on each wall of bags looking at the bags. You could spend an hour looking at the purses. You could probably spend two hours looking at all the clothing. I mean, it the place is massive. Now the bags, you do have to be careful because there are broken pieces. So if you're looking at the ceramics in the bags, I would just really, you know, make sure you're giving it a good look 
as best you can to avoid buying anything that is broken. Now, clothing wise, I didn't buy much. For myself, this was half off, so this was like $2.50. Nice little mustard yellow shirt. I like that color. And then I did pick up this shirt. So this is, this was $5, not the mama. If you remember the TV show Dinosaurs, the Sinclair family, I believe they were, and his, the baby's famous saying was not the mama. Um, it was actually really, I mean, back then when I watched it, it was a fun show. I haven't watched it since. <laughs> um, so I don't know if it would still have its relevance or be fun, but I had some of the dinosaur toys. This shirt, it, it has a Fruit of the Loom Heavy HD tag. Um, it is not single stitch. This was not made in the USA. But if you are out and you find a shirt that looks like it could possibly be a bit older, you know, I don't know who's making these Not The Mama shirts now, but one clear way to tell if it's older or not is if you can ID the tag. And pretty much what you just have to do is, you know, bring out your trusty phone, maybe sometimes not all trusty, use the technology that we have and just type in, you know, Fruit of the Loom tag ID or Fruit of the Loom, uh, you know, year history. And there are people that are so knowledgeable out there and that, you know, specialize in just telling you the time span for tags that most often they'll pop up an image of all these different tags and it'll tell you the, the years. This one, if I believe correctly, was from maybe the mid 90s to early 2000s for this tag. Now, could someone just have found this shirt and put this on there? Sure. There is a, a dinosaur t-shirt that is on eBay that is a tie-dye and it has the dad and the baby on here. And that's, that's like listed for over $200. Wish I would have found that. This is just a fun, you know, a fun vintage-ish shirt it is a small so i could i could probably wear it or maybe later on when i'm you know tempted i'll throw it up online and see what i get you know are there die hard dinosaur fans out there not sure <laughs> man i would love to find a disney's like a vintage disney gummy bear shirt that was such a great series i can't tell you how great that series was it was so good um but uh that totally, my mind just blanked on that one. Uh, yeah, you know, are there diehard dinosaur fans out there? Eh. But are there people that remember the show and remember the nostalgia and remember, you know, watching it? I'm sure because I remember it as well. I don't know if it was on the Friday night lineup. Not sure, but that was it. The Asian market, I bought some uh, bubble tea in a can. So we'll see how that goes. And then I also bought uh, some pho or pho. <laughs> Uh, microwavable pho. Pho. I'm going to just say pho. Uh, so we'll see how that is. But we'd love to go back there and just get a shopping cart and just buy things. The ice cream that they had was amazing. They had a whole section of seafood. Uh, you know, it's unbelievable the things that they have. And definitely would want to go back and spend more time and see, you know, all the, the yummy goodies I could bring back try it taste taste test and the prices were actually really reasonable at that at that market and then the bubble tea we had after i should have recorded that i posted that on one of my stories on um instagram we had bubble tea and then i went back to her house before we left we uh, drove in her husband's uh, my friend's husband's new tesla what an experience <laughs> like there's no buttons there's nothing it's crazy <laughs> Oh boy. But yes, fun thrifting a day and just a fun time hanging out with uh, one of my dearest friends from college. So thanks again, Melissa, uh, for that adventure. I'm always up for an adventure. Oh, we ate at a really great place too. Um, I can't pronounce the name of what I got. <laughs> Bang Mop, was it? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, but it was like marinated steak with mushrooms and scallions and onions over rice with an egg on top. Oh, it was so good. So delicious. Always up for an adventure, and today was definitely a great adventure. Not the park, but a great adventure. I hope you had fun watching this. 
um, you know, not your typical, I guess, thrift store video. It was just fun and it's okay to have fun every now and then. A lot more than now and then. Have fun every day. Anyway, I'm off on a tangent. Have to run other errands, get other things done. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more adventures here at Paper and Moose. And if you are out at your local thrift store, I hope you find a treasure to keep for yourself or a treasure to resell and that uh, you can bring that treasure to someone else that has been looking for it. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.